Welcome to another video guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to change the language on the CXW 3.0. For those who don't know what CXW is, it's a software uh, where you can look at the schematics for iPhone, Samsung, tablets, some, and some other uh, devices. But anyways, this is most likely for micro soldering. Okay, let's just hit right there. Thanks to Armando Lopez for sharing the CXW software 3.0. So let's go ahead and launch the software. All right, guys, I'm going to click X right here because I have my dongle connected to my computer, so I don't need the account. And quickly, we, we're going to go to the top menu. You guys see we have some options right here on the top. Let's go for the letter T as in Tom. And we're going to go to the second option, letter S right here. Uh, we're going to have this box right here. And for the server, we're going to choose Hong Kong 2 for the purpose of this video. And then we have the choose language and we don't, we're gonna have a drop box right here. When you click it, we have a bunch of languages like Portuguese, Espanol, English. We're gonna choose English for now. And then click okay. And all you have to do is exit the software. And we're gonna launch it back on. All right, here we go back into the software. As you guys can see, now the language on the software is being changed. And you can do so different, the same step, just if you want to change uh, to a different language like Spanish, like I told you before. I'm going to be showing you the difference between the CXW, uh, which one? 2.6, the one that I have right here. I'm going to click on it and launch the software. I have the dongle connected to my computer, so this um, this software should just go as regular. When I try to open the CXW 2.6, it's going to ask me this kind of Chinese question, which I have to hit cancel. If I hit OK, it's not going to load the software. It's like kind of asking me if I want to up update or upgrade whatever so i have this software expiration date as you guys can see right here on the top is 0601 so 19 it's gonna be on june 1st this software is gonna expire so i will have to buy a new license to be using it so as you guys can see i can go ahead and open uh a, any of these uh, schematics, whatever, and it will open just normal. I'm gonna just close it down here, and now we're gonna go ahead and launch the 3.0, the new software. So I'm gonna click yes and wait for the software to load. I'm gonna also click cancel. And the software is opening, guys. So, as you guys can see, but uh, right here on the top, software expire date no is not valid. Period. As you guys can see, it is basically telling me then I don't have a license to use this software, even I have my a dongle connected with a valid license so we're gonna have to buy a new license for the new software i just want to let you guys know if you're having this problem it's just how it works it's nothing you can do by just buying a new license okay all right guys after reading some of the instruction on cxwtools.com i find out that you have to create your account and then we're going to log in <clears throat> i'm gonna open the software again 
All right, we have the, the software open with my account that I have created for CXW. Then on the left, you guys can see here, it says Dear Cell Pros, and we have some options right here. So we're gonna go in Binding Encryption Dog. So we're gonna click there, and we're gonna hit, we're gonna see a message popping out, like, are you sure to bind this encrypted dog? Yes, we click yes. And then we're gonna be seeing this, we're gonna see this message, binding success, okay? Uh, the account can only be bound to one encrypted dog. So we basically just upgrade our dongle for uh, the remaining time, period of time we have left on our dongle. It's gonna go uh, to the new 3.0. Okay, sorry by the noise on the background. But anyways, uh, as you guys can see now, our date, expiration dates, uh, our expiration date of the software is June 1st, just like it was on the 2.6 version of this software. All right, guys, after finish this process, we can just go ahead and uh, unplug our dongle. And we're going to launch again uh, the C cxw soft i mean we're gonna launch again our cxw 3.0 as you guys can see is loading without the dongle and now we're gonna see if we can open the schematics and boom guys so we're ready to go and here we go if you guys still have some time left don't miss this step and you're gonna keep enjoying this software and that's it, guys, for this video. Very short video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.